Hello, friends. We are continuing our 1001 Tarot spreads today. It is day number 39 out of our 1001, and we will be using the Wizard's Tarot to answer some questions. Well, one in particular about getting on the property or the business ladder. Let's get into it. Card number one represents what you cannot or should not compromise on. This is some sort of ideal. This is a promise. This is something you have decided. I cannot renege on this. Card number two, what can I compromise on? So comparing and contrasting. Card number three, the breakthrough card. What will get you onto that ladder to success? What will open the door to your successful business or property venture. Card number four is how to fulfill part of that dream sooner rather than later. So let's see what the cards have to tell us. I suppose I should do that on camera. <laughs> Since I now have a second camera, Okay, card number one, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Card number two, Death, reversed. Card number three, the Chariot, reversed. And card number four, the King of Wands, reversed. Okay, so card number one, Queen of Pentacles. What should you not compromise on? Pentacles is about home life. It is about your personal finances. It is about having not just a house, but a home. Do not compromise on your personal relationships at home. If you are still living with your parents, make sure to fortify those relationships. If you are married or living with a partner, focus on maintaining the strength of that connection. Do not compromise on it. Card number two, things that you can compromise on is death reversed. Typically, death is endings. It is letting things go at the proper time. Being reversed, this is compromise on the newer things. The things that you have not fully committed to yet. Pick one or two things and focus on them. Don't go chasing after every idea. Because if you continue chasing, you're not going to actually develop any individual concept or any individual plan to the point of success. Card number three is the chariot reversed. This is the breakthrough card. What are you looking for? Chariot upright would mean something's going to happen fast. In this case, being reversed, I am inclined to believe that you need to persevere. This is not a get-rich-quick plan. This is a dedicated effort, day-after-day day plan. Card number four, how to fulfill at least part of the dream faster or on time. The King of Wands reversed. Card number four is how to achieve part of the goal quickly or see progress on the dream. Being the King of Wands reversed, there's some naivete involved. Typically, the King of Wands is the man who has all the answers. He's very practiced. He knows what he's doing, and he's very logical and precise about it. Don't be afraid to mess up. Make mistakes. That is how you learn. Acknowledge that at this moment, you are not being represented by the King of Wands. You are being represented by the goal to become the King of Wands. To become the person who is intimately aware of all your resources and how to use them. You don't get that way without having first made some mistakes. So as Ms. Frizzle likes to say, get messy, make mistakes and learn in the process. Have fun. Don't be all somber about it. That concludes 
reading number 39. Wait, yeah, 39. I can count, usually. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.